Good afternoon, this is Tam Wendell with Bushcraft on Fire. Today we're continuing with the experimental cleaning of this cast iron pot that I had dug up. Um, this cast iron that I'm working on was outside for two years, so not everybody's cast iron is going to look this terrible. And the steps we followed yesterday with the aluminum foil, if you just had some light rusting, that would have done the job. And, but we discovered that this one was pretty badly pitted. So we've soaked it in, um, we've sprayed it with an oven cleaner and let it sit for a full day. So here we are a day later and we're going to see what condition this pot is in. You can see the oven cleaner is still floating on here. And we can also see that there's rust in there, but that's also because the oven cleaner is wet. So what I'm going to do is try to clean out some of this gunk. All right, now what we have here is we still have rust, but as you know, if you can see here, it removed a lot of the pitting, the portions that were loose. So the next step is to use some steel wool. I'm going to use steel wool in here, try to get all this remaining rust out. And if I can get all this rust out, then what we're going to have to do is begin to re-season this fry pan. So we'll do some more scrubbing here. I'm getting most of the rust out of here. If you can see inside the pan here, that was the original patina and it's been eaten totally off. So I want to do some more scrubbing to see if I can't remove some of this, these bumps here so that we can begin a new smooth coating in it. Now this is not one of my good house pans. This is, we're using an extreme case, but just to show you that cast iron never needs to be thrown out. It can be restored. Well, after a lot of time and a lot of elbow grease, we've removed everything that I could take off out of here. And the next step is to get some good seasoning in there. And what I'm using here is just um, vegetable shortening. And I'm going to just smear a good thick layer in the pan. I'll let it sit for a while and then what I'm going to do is put it in the oven for about 15 minutes and pull it out. Then I will clean it again and repeat the process. So I'll show you what it looks like after 15 minutes in the oven. I'm only doing the inside. I'll show you the difference. This is the outside what the inside used to look like. So I'm just gonna work this in good and deep and then begin my baking. Okay, I've taken the cast iron out of the oven. It's extremely hot right now. And just to show you, this is after the first seasoning. The oil is very hot in there. What I'm going to do is wipe out all the oil, let it sit for a bit, then I'm going to repeat the process again. I put it in the oven at 225 
the first time I did it for 15 minutes after I get this wiped out really good put the new shortening in it I'll let it go for a half an hour and we'll see what it looks like then hi there we're coming to an end of this experiment I spent a lot of time scrubbing this pot and then taking it over to the stove and giving it a few treatments of seasoning in the oven and now's the test to see if we've got a smooth enough pan to cook on again so I just have a little fire going get a little bit of butter in the skillet and we'll see how well this egg fries or if it sticks that'll determine if the bottom is been sealed well enough. If it's too porous, an egg would stick and you would never be able to flip the egg properly. Now understand, when we moved onto this land, this pan had come with us and the handle had been broken off and it was used to bring some feed to an animal. So it was found back on the land a few weeks back and that's why it was in such a sad condition, coated with rust. It's had years of being outside, being built up with rust and all sorts of corrosion so I used had to use the the aluminum foil which is works as a better scrubber than steel wool to get it down basically to a smoother finish and then I also used some steel wool and I did this the foil along with vinegar now if you just have a house skillet and you get rust on it just a bit of vinegar and a rag will clean up the rust but of course this is a, a super extreme uh, situation we n typically people don't leave their cast iron outside for four or five years to corrode but this is just to show you depending on how bad if you have a skillet that's you know got rusted depending on how bad these are different steps that you can test at home to get your cast iron to a place where you can use it again to begin cooking. Now, every time that I cook in this skillet, the patina is going to get smoother and darker, but it's going to take a bit of time to get that built up again. All right, I'm going to reach under. My pan was kind of at an angle, so the yolk slid that way. But as you can see, it uh, didn't stick in the least bit. We're not getting that brown and black that used to come off every time I would go to scrub and clean. I kept getting these layers of black off. Now, of course, part of it was over the years the patina being built up, but what you're looking for is a smooth pan, and then over time this will build up and the whole pan will be black again. This is Tam Wendell with Bushcraft on Fire thanking you for joining us for this video. It's great to be back with you all again. Looking forward to a whole new season of videos. Thank you so much for your support, your comments, and we'll see you soon on another video.